What's up guys, welcome back to Test and Review. After taking my Jeep to a lot of overland trips, beaches, especially when I take the top part off, I end up with a lot of dirt and sand inside my car. And that's when I realized, oh, maybe I really need a good car vacuum cleaner. So today, I got four really popular car vacuum cleaner from Amazon. All of those four vacuums have a lot of sales on Amazon, and they're all pretty cheap. They're around $20, $30 price range. The most expensive ones are no more than $40. First, let's open them up and see what's inside those box. As usual, we start with the cheapest one. This one is $26.99. And it's 120 watts with 8,000 Pascal. Hey! Ooh, this one is a <laughs> wireless one. Oh my god, that surprised me. So, this one you don't need to connect it to the car. Hey! And here is the release button. I guess that's the charger for it. It also came with a new filter, a small extension part to go to the detail. Is this not the same? What? This can't go. Oh, that's how it works. Attach this small part to this first. And then you attach this. Okay. It goes like that. That's a little complicated. And lastly, it came with a brush. Okay, here is the second one. This one is $29.99. This one said it's 150 watts and 7500 Pascal. Okay, this one. This one, it came like that. That's the other side. And that's the on and off, I guess. Here it has the release button on both sides. You have to press it at the same time and then release it. And it came with another extension hole. This seems to be the longest one. And it can still extend. Okay. I guess we connected it like this. This also came with a tube to clear the detail part of the car. It also came with a brush and this to clean the detail. Also come with a replace filter and a brush for the filter. Now our third one is $34.99. This is the only one that came with a handle which is really helpful when I'm moving it. This one is 110 watts. This is a corner. Oh, this one is much heavier than the previous one. This is a little different from the previous one. It has a matte coating. This texture feels a little better. It came with this kind of car battery connector. Here is the handle. You can hand it like this. And here is the on and off button. And if you press this one, you can release it and empty the trash. I kind of like this design because it's really easy to control everything with one hand. Inside this one came with this extension pipe and it came with an extra filter and a small brush to clean the filter. Pretty standard, it has a tube that you can attach it like this and use it to reach the small detail. It also came with a brush. And lastly, we have this one. This one is 150 watts and 8,000 Pascal. But actually, after I got this one, the link on Amazon became unavailable. So I don't know what's the price now or if you can still get it or not. Okay. So, uh, it's pretty simple. Here is the beginning button. And here, I guess, is the release button. Press and release this part to empty the trash. Connector that you can use to connect with your car directly. Here is the extension hole came with this. You can angle pretty easily, but it doesn't extend that much to the vacuum. And you can do it like a 360. 
and it also has a little brush and that's another extension this is used like this and lastly it has a small brush Today, I want to find out which one of this actually works the best. I'm gonna divide my Jeep into four sections. Driver's seat, the passenger seat, the back seat behind the driver's, and the back seat behind the passenger seat. And then we're gonna assign each of the vacuums to one single section. First, we're gonna test the vacuum itself without any attachments. We can see with the first one, it doesn't really pick up anything. The second one actually did a pretty good job and cleans most of the big stuff. The third one did a pretty good job picking up small dirt. And the fourth one doesn't really change anything. Now let's try add the extension parts to it. The first one performs pretty well and it's easy to reach every part of the car. The second one performs really well and picks up everything. The third one also successfully cleaned all the dirt. With the fourth one, it has a little difficulty in picking up heavy stuff and can't really reach the detail. Now, let's try the brush and see how it works with cat hair. The first one can clean up pretty well, but it's a little hard to clean the brush after. The second one cleans everything easily and doesn't really leave the hair on the brush. The third one doesn't really work, it's only swapping the hair to the other side.
The fourth one takes some of the hair with the brush. Okay, that's everything for today's video. This is Test and Review. We share everything about cars, overlanding, and outdoor. I'll see you in the next video.